Hey, you on breaking news we've been following here this morning. A large grass fire in Platte County continues to burn. This is happening at 92 Highway at Centennial Bridge. I want to go straight to Captain Greg Borden. We've already seen a couple of structures here affected. Captain, what's the latest? Hey, Christy, yeah, this is mostly federal land over here, what used to be the old federal uh, prison farm. And uh, earlier you saw there was one of the barns that had burned and actually collapsed. Uh, you can see now that the fire is continuing to move north as it comes up against an elbow in the river here, where the river actually goes to the east. The fire is still burning very strong, obviously very dry tinder down here, uh, burning uh, really uh, very hot, a lot, lot of smoke uh, drifting to the north. But uh, as we can see it right now, Chris, I think this is going to be well controlled. Uh, I think once it gets to the river, it'll probably burn itself out. But uh, we're just going to have to keep an eye. It is possible that the fire could jump across the Missouri River. But uh, I think right now that's probably unlikely. Okay, so Captain, just be, we're seeing the same image as you are. Give me an idea of the river we can see there on the other side, uh, on the, north, the top part of your screen there. Uh, how close is the nearest, say, home development or something that might be more affected than just an outbuilding or a barn? Yeah, a very rural part of, uh, of Platte County. Uh, probably the closest town is Beverly, and that is uh, to the east, probably about five or six miles. And with the winds being like they are, sounding like the forecast they're going to sustain out of the south, I really don't think uh, any of those areas will be threatened by it. Like I said, there is an eastern elbow to the river right here, and very likely it's going to go right up against the river. And I think fire crews then will have a little better opportunity uh, to get a handle on it. Okay, Captain, we're going to try to give everybody a little bit better idea. This is a huge fire, and it's the worst case scenario today, too, because the winds are higher and the gusts have been higher today than they have been in a, a long time, plus with how dry it's been. So as, we, as you zoom out a little bit and kind of get your bearings, I want to show everybody the map. We quickly just popped up there briefly just to give you an idea of where this is. A 92 Highway, look, you can see uh, different vehicles uh, driving along this little curve. But if you see, they're going to try to frame this up. So there's Beverly, which is a little further away, five or six miles away, where the bend in the river is, and where 92 Highway, just under our breaking news logo here, if we can take that graphic down just for a second, do you see where 92 Highway turns and goes across the river? That's about where we are. So across the river would be the concern for homes. But again, uh, Captain Greg saying it doesn't appear that the fire is going to uh, potentially jump that river. But uh, we are seeing the rural area on the other side of the river, at least in this stretch where this fire is burning. And you hope that at this point it hits the Missouri River. A couple of buildings clearly already affected. We saw it approaching one just a little bit ago, Captain. Is it currently burning a building? Uh, it did actually come up against one of the other smaller, old, abandoned uh, barns that, uh, once again, that's part of the old federal prison farm that uh, right. has been closed for years and years. So, yeah, other than those abandoned buildings, there's, there's no uh, threat to any other structures. Okay, another thing to point out, too, if you're, if you're further away from this and you can see all this smoke, this is showing you uh, what is going on up in Platkin. Now, look, this is video. Uh, uh, from earlier of that building there, you heard Captain talking about uh, being completely consumed. Of course, barnwood sitting uh, for years unused is just, it's the perfect kindling for a fire like this as it approaches. Uh, but a massive blaze there and probably able to see this smoke for quite a while, especially with the wind blowing it uh, far off into the distance. But you can see how much land has burned here up in Platte County. Uh, well, they have special trucks that they use to work these. Um, firefighters call them brush buggies, but they're essentially brush fire trucks. Uh, you have to get a handle on these things, they tell us, because the wind can just take it and run with it. Again, here's some video. Now, do you see there's several little buildings there on that abandoned area and then of course fire crews uh, getting out and doing what they can now see the truck that's not one you would typically see uh, necessarily fighting fires in town it's got real rugged wheels on it it's got a portable pumper in there that can take water and then you've got live pictures there on your the right hand side of your screen where you can see the bend in the river they hope and it would be most people would assume the river the fire stops and doesn't jump the river but with the wind blowing like this uh, the Southern Platte Fire Department, Kansas City Fire Department, all working on this.